previously on IAG Farms. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the fellowship with each other, Lord. Uh, we thank you for all the time that you've given us together. Lord, we pray that we have a good day today, Lord. We pray that we're safe. Lord, that you teach us and show us the ways that you want us to go, Lord. And pray, Lord, we have a good hog killing. Uh, bled them out, so. Listen, we, uh, our kids are just watching. They're either gonna be like raised right or messed up for life. <laughs> and I'm hung up now. IG Butcher Shop. <laughs> it's all about God. So we are, we have the half of the pig out here now, and we're breaking it down into the primal cuts, or so just basically kind of quartering it. We got the shoulder, the, the back, which is the hams, and then the middle section, which is going to be our ribs and the pork chops and bacon. bacon. So we're, we're breaking it down a little further today, and um, basically, we're going to show y'all what we're doing, what we've got going. Right, so what we're doing now is we're breaking down this hog. This is a half of a hog, and we, when we're butchering it, when we have it hanging, we go ahead and split it down right down through the spine. And so we have a half of a hog here, and we have four halves that we need to break down. And so pretty much these are the, the, the shoulders, what we call the pork butt. This is the, the hams back here, you know, back at the rear end of the hog. And then we have the ribs and the, the, the bacon and ribs and all those type things here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna break it down into primal cuts. So the first thing you, you, you do is you'll bring a camera on in. But the first thing you do is, I see I've, I've made that cut there already, but just just imagine that that cut is not there. So you get right behind this, this pork butt or this shoulder, and you come right behind that shoulder, and then it's a divot right there. And if you put your fist right there, just kind of cut right in the middle of your fist, and, you, and you'll feel that section in there where your knife will go straight down through. Might need to get my saw, but... You should be able to get pretty much all the way through there. And then I'll grab my bone saw. Might have to saw through that last section. Let me come around this way. Just wanna get through those bones. You really don't want to cut through the bones with your sharp knife because it'll dull your knife out. Mm -hmm. So you just get through cutting through it right there. Get a little bit more of this bone, so. Alright. So here is this section of meat. We're gonna get that cleaned up a little bit more. So now I'm going to disconnect my, 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 my hands back here from the rib section. Pretty much the same thing. There's a certain spot you're supposed to get it on here. On, on this back end, you're not supposed to get right at that, that cut. That you're supposed to come up just a little bit. Probably about maybe a two inches from where that line is at. Yeah. Going to the, to the hand. And that's going to depend inches. on your... Uh... Your yeah, animal, you're just yeah. gonna have to kind of feel it, mm -hmm. you know, like. And there's no wrong way to do this, right. you know. It's all meat. Mm -hmm. It's gonna all turn out good, so yeah. you just make your cuts down through there. Mm -hmm. so but you, you can, feel bone. yeah, because you can kind of see where that uh, the belly starts to elongate, mm -hmm. you know. So you're coming right there. You don't want to get too far into your bacon. Right. Take too much of your bacon away. Right. That's the prize cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you mean. The pork belly. Yeah, that's right. Once I start feeling bone, same thing. I'm coming around my bone, so. Right, because we're not expert at this, experts no. at this either. We just, you know, are working with the meat and, and learning. As we go. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, so. Because we were surprised you. the first time that we did it. 
you know, as Tim started to cut, he was like, look, I can see a pork chop. I can see, you know, you, you start to see the cuts of meat kind of pop out, the ones that you're familiar with. So here you have your ham, and then who knows what this is. We'll figure that out as we go. <laughs> and then you have your ribs, pork belly, and then your, your bacon is going to even go under these ribs. So you're gonna kind of fillet the ribs off, and then the bacon is gonna be about this, this this whole stretch here, and then this is gonna end up being your pork chops, or you can make like boneless uh, loins. You can cut the loin out. It's all type of things you can do with it. You just kind of gotta get in there and start cutting at it, and then uh you know you'll kind of figure things out as you go. Let me show you the inside of this meat. And we're gonna trim all this off because all that needs to come off. But you can kind of see. You know, you got a couple ribs there. You got some, uh, you got a roast here. You know, there's all type of cuts of meat that you can get off of there. You just got to kind of, you know, uh, get in there, get started, get your hands dirty, and, you know, see what you can figure out as you go in there. But I'm going to get these cleaned up, get all of this bloody meat cut off, and then we'll move on to the next one. It's IG Farms. All about God. All about God. So right now we're taking out the other half of this pig that we have packed in ice. We had them all in the coolers and ice. And we're thankful for another pretty cold day. So we're able to work outside. So Tim is lifting the pig up and putting them on the butcher table. Gonna be the same thing just break it down in the primers break it down three times and, you know it just makes the meat smaller so you can can work with it pretty simple though as i said on this front front leg you just kind of right behind that leg right there in that cut there nice smooth straight cut keep going until you feel bone separated there Go on back here I'm gonna do this one a little bit different and like I said you this is your meat you raise this hog you know so you do it how you want to do it you don't have to go exactly by the book so instead of coming down that two inches like I did before I'm, I'm gonna hit it right there at the ham and just see how this one turns out I want to save as much of that bacon as I can I don't want to lose two inches of bacon what you think, babe? Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. The more bacon, the better. You don't have to be a professional butcher to do this, because I'm not. This is only my second hog I've ever done. Mm -hmm. So I'm still learning. Cutting it, cutting it up into these primers so we can take get it cleaned up a little bit more, spray it out one more time, so we can take it in the house and work it down further, and then get, it, get everything back in sealed and put up. So now, since I got those two primers, let me turn them over. Let's look at them. See what's in the inside of them leaves. Looks like I got some leaf lard. Yeah, Woohoo! Right I'm excited to work with that. We're gonna do it right this time. That's right. Get some lard. With the inside, so okay, look at these. So it may seem intimidating while you're looking at it like yeah, that, but big. once you start breaking it down, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll show you more as we go inside. But so okay. now what we're gonna do is so what's this? The shoulder I'm looking is, at. This is the ham. The ham. Okay, this, this is the, is the back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So up here is what you would call the pork butt. That's the that's the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now you get the pork butt and some other things out of there. Yeah. And you, the, the main meat that we know about on the, on the back end is the ham. Ham. Okay. So, and so you get the different, different cuts out of there as well. And then midsection ribs, ribs bacon, pork, pork chops, belly, bone, mm -hmm. all of that. And then right here is where we got the shoulder, or what's known as the pork butt, the Boston butt. That's I right. think they call it. Yeah. It's not the butt, but it's called the Boston butt. <laughs> it's actually the shoulder. So now we're just spraying off and <clears throat> cleaning up the primal cuts that we have here. We've got the heart down there. Um, then we have, what's that, the shoulder? Yeah, the shoulder here. And now we're just spraying down the ribs and the ham. And we'll get it um, broken down further and cleaned up once we get in the house. Cleaned up to that next level. You know, we're going to trim it down, make sausage. But right now we're just spraying it down, make sure everything's nice and clean. All right, so we got all the other meat packed in coolers. We got some more ice, and so it's on ice, and we're going to go inside and work that meat. But uh, the heads, uh, yesterday we didn't uh, process them, and so they still have the skin and the hair on them. So we're going to go ahead and skin the heads and skin our hawks, and we'll uh, smoke them. And, um, you know, the hawks you can use for, like, black-eyed peas, um, all your, like, crock pot, like, peas and dishes, lima beans, we we'll call butter beans. So, we'll uh, go ahead and process these as well. We're going to get them on ice. Yeah, it's a lot of, like, good meat on there. Yeah. Yeah, meat down. Yeah, it's a lot of good meat. Yeah, I just get so excited about... Uh, this whole process, this journey that the Lord has us on when we're raising food um, and the meat that we have is so uh, healthy and amazing because we know exactly what went into it. We know how the hogs were treated, what they were fed, and we can actually share this meat with people who are in need. And we can actually like give a part of the labor that we use, like we work with our hands and we labor over these hogs and now we can share it with people who need it. And so that's an amazing and exciting thing. All right, so we're in here getting ready to do our cuts of meat. We have our coolers in here, we got our meat in there, cover it up in ice so it'll stay cool. And uh, Megan is bringing in some bowls so that we can put in like uh, cuts of fat and cuts of, uh, you know, things for sausage, like the, the pieces that we cut off, that we trim off. Yeah, I got my knives set up, got everything clean, sterilized, got a butcher block that I can make my cuts on, so I don't dull my knives out on my stainless steel. But yeah, so we just getting ready. Boys in here watching cartoons. How y'all doing, boys? Yes, good. We watch some Looney Tunes. Resting up, got fire going. So we, we ready. Ready to get this meat cut up. This is IG Butcher Shop Day 3. It's all about God. It's all about God. It's all about God. So right now we're on our second pig. Um, making the, the smaller cuts of meat. As you see here, we've got what? That's a loin. This is uh, just some... Cuts of uh, sausage yep. that's gonna be ground up. This is a little tenderloin. Mm -hmm. This is a bigger backstrap loin. Mm -hmm. And these are four slabs of bacon. There you go. And then we have some leaf, leaf lard there. there. And then we have more uh, more sausage. This is we're gonna ground in the sausage. Yeah. Chunks of meat and, and fat. Mm -hmm. And then I had this uh, backbone here that I'm cutting these ribs off of. And then we're just gonna make some little baby back ribs. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'll show y'all what we put up in the freezer so far. I just uh, made these uh, ribs here. I just vacuum sealed these. 
uh, today but these are from yesterday here's a pork belly it's going to be bacon and um, then here we got some boneless pork chops oh no these are bone in pork chops and then uh we got more ribs along this back See? another slab of ribs there Uh, we'll fill this freezer over there just some scraps for the chickens and uh, yeah so we will uh, have a lot of meat and we're excited about that being able to use it so we'll just continue on in the IG butcher shop and we'll just see you on the next one it's all about God. It's all about God.